Feel Good Breakfast Show. And Feel Good, it's quite important, but not all of us can all the time. And this is why we have beautiful events like uh, this beautiful kite festival that we're going to be chatting about very, very soon. But in the darkest of times, hope is the light by which we are able to see our way through the tunnel. And Cape Mental Health has provided hope to those who need it for over 100 years. And hope continues to be flown high at the ongoing 27th Cape Town International Kite Festival, which is beautiful and a, a beacon of hope. Definitely. Indeed. Uh, this morning, Raleigh is going to learn all about people's passion for flying and making kites as well. But before we fly into it, we are joined by Cape Mental Health CEO, Dr. Ingrid Daniels, as she shares more about the organization's colorful and exciting event. Doctor, so good to have you with us this morning. Good morning to you. It's good to be here and good morning to all your viewers as well. Now, for those who don't know, Cape Mental Health is a registered uh, non-profit organization that gives a free um, medical services to people who are suffering with mental health. Tell us a bit more about the organization and also how we can support uh, this very important uh, organization. Yes, indeed. So Cape Mental Health is the oldest and one of the largest community-based mental health organizations in South Africa and probably one of the oldest on the continent as well and we provide free mental health services to children and adults with intellectual disability, persons with um, psychosocial disabilities or basically people with lived experience of a mental illness and this could be a common mental disorder or a more severe mental disorder and in the full range anyone who needs mental health support. Um, and we have a range of programs, um, starting off with our counselling. Uh, we have a team of amazing social workers. They specialise in mental health. They're just a phone call away. We provide services to children with severe and profound intellectual disabilities um, in very dire communities. And then a whole basket of psychosocial rehabilitation um, support and interventions for persons with um, mental illnesses, again, the full range, common to more severe, and then a lot of work in the area of mental health awareness and promotion, you know, so that it, we can talk about treatment options on the one hand, but also prevent, prevention on the other hand. And then, as I said, a full range of services to support people. You know, you don't necessarily have to have a diagnosis to have a mental health challenge. Yeah. And we want to be there for people during difficult times, and this has been a very difficult time. So it's, it's a huge organisation, and even during the 18 months of very difficult COVID-19 pandemic, we yeah. provided mental health services. And it's actually beautiful, the work that they, they do. I mean, you guys are just your heroes. And this is a nice synergy with the Cape Town International Kite Festival, which has been going um, for quite a while. I mean, since like 1994, you have been doing the necessary. And there's such great connections between something like a kite and what you're trying to do. Because a kite represents elevation, upliftment. Absolutely. It represents us looking up which is something that's so powerful too. Yeah. But of course, during a pandemic, we couldn't fly kites per se. Um, in terms of Cape Mental Health, of course, you couldn't connect with people in sort of the, the person-centered um, treatment that you would have gone to. So how have you guys um, exercised and, and actually just put your key work out there during a pandemic? Well, during the pandemic, we had to be very active in providing mental health services, as you know, yes. everyone's been affected. Absolutely. Mm. Every one of us. There's no them and us. All of us have been affected. So we were able to use the technology at our disposal, migrate our entire reception telef a telephone system onto a cell phone. And have contact with people. So we provided mental health support, um, anyone who called in our services to even programs were uh, virtually activated on a daily basis. So wow. interestingly, we had more contact with our, the beneficiaries of our services during the COVID-19 pandemic than prior to. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it was critical for us to be available. We know that the COVID-19 pandemic has had a rampant impact on not only health and social uh, um, consequences, but mental health spe more specifically. Yeah. You know, so uh, it was critical for us to continue to provide uh, mental health services during this time. And kite flying, um, obviously, you know, uh, we were fortunate that we've been able to go into um, a period of low infections, which has facilitated the 
our ability to come out, so to speak, yes. and fly the kites because, you know, we were in various waves and peaks of the pandemic. And so, uh, you know, being outside was difficult or, or just being able to socialise was difficult, you know. Um, yes. So um, flying the kites now during this period um, is a wonderful opportunity for us to do so. It is beautiful. And I, I think what you've, what you've spoken about is just the symbol that is the kite festival, but also there's, there's a soul to it. Yeah. And that soul is very, very important. That, that really just integrates into what we are trying to um, get out to everybody, that they're not yeah. alone. Exactly. And there is help out there and help yep. in the form of the Cape Mental Health, which is great. So yeah. um, I just thank you for the great work that you and your team are doing. Thank really, you very much. Absolutely thank beautiful. Like Mr. Wazer said, you are the hero. But of course, the 27th Cape Town International Kite Festival will be having its second pop-up event this Saturday, the 23rd of October at Zanfle Nature Reserve in Musenberg, Cape Town. And for more information and to make a donation, you can follow at uh, Cape Town Kite Festival on social media. And later on, we'll also be following Raoul's journey at the first pop-up event that took place on World Mental Health Day on the sun on Sunday the 10th of October but first let's watch him make his first foray into what goes into the world of kiting <laughs> 